Hi everyone, this is Melissa from Melissa Home and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I want to share some information for those who may be lost and may you may not be um, privy to what's been going on in terms of the stimulus package. So I did a video, I believe a week ago in terms of the uh, new proposed uh, stimulus package for $1,200 that they're proposing to have a second um, stimulus package similar to the first one um, passed. And this will also include one-time payment of $1,200 per family members and it comes with the similar um, you know requirements as the first okay so in that video um, a lot of people were confused they were thinking that it passed and uh, a ch another check will be coming but no it's still in the proposal stage so as of current um, this is has not been passed um, we don't know if we will receive a second check so right now it's just the first one that people are getting some people may still be waiting for the first one right the proposal for another twelve hundred dollar stimulus check is called the heroes act stimulus check okay how much money you could get the heroes act includes a wide range of benefits such as second direct payment to individuals and households up to twelve hundred dollars per family member in this article that i'm showing you on screen it gives you some more breakdowns on how much exactly you will get with this um, proposal so individuals under the proposed law will receive $1,200 if their adjusted gross income from their 2019 federal tax filing or 2018 filing was less than $75,000 per year as with the current stimulus package payments would incrementally decrease as your AGI goal goes up so uh, children and dependents each dependent would qualify for a $1,200 payment that includes college students, children over 17, disabled, <laughs> disabled relatives and taxpayers, parents. This detail differs from the CARES Act and the CARES Act, under the CARES Act, we're currently getting the $1,200 um, stimulus payments. Okay. So there are some um, adjustments in terms of the HEROES Act. There are small adjustments. For instance, um, you know, the college student part, uh, they would be able to qualify for the $1,200 this time. Um, children over 17 and so forth, disabled relatives and taxpayers, uh, parents and so on. So those are the minor uh, details that may be different from the one that we're currently receiving. Okay, so again, this is a proposed, um, it was passed by the House, but it has to go through the Senate. And then after going through the Senate and that process, then President Donald Trump would have to sign off on it okay you can click on the link i'll post this article below this video so you can read more about it if you're interested in it again i apologize for my last video if it mis misled a few of you and confused you in terms of you know when i stated that it was passed it still has to go through the senate and uh be signed by president donald trump so what else does the heroes act propose there's some more information in regards to what it's you know the other details that would be included in the proposal pertaining to this act also goes into details of arguments for and against the second stimulus bill what's going on with that the bill moving from the house of representatives to the senate for debate there are some arguments on both sides of the discussion so um, you know, some are stating that since middle of March, more than 38 million U.S. workers have lost their jobs that file for unemployment. That's a lot of people um, that has filed for unemployment. Right? Uh, so they believe that it is necessary to, um, you know, provide these individuals with another stimulus package, $1,200 stimulus bill. So of course, with the job losses, the nation's unemployment rate reached 17.2%, which is really high. Okay. And that's according to the U.S. Department of labor so newly unemployed people along with others taking an economic hit from the pandemic would benefit from having more money to spend right now so you know they're thinking about the unemployment um, people that are filing for unemployment the rate that they're filing for it they're seeing that yeah it may be necessary to do a second one to uh, keep them above water right in their financial situation then on the opposing side there's questions in regards to whether the preceding relief measures have met their goals and want to focus on short-term economic measures 
Um, and others have also expressed concern about how additional stimulus package will increase the historic federal deficit because that payment is available in addition to regular jobless benefits and enhanced unemployment benefits of $600 per week. Some critics worry it will make it harder to reduce unemployment if people don't have an incentive to return to work. So, you know, they're currently just debating whether it's necessary to do it right now and so forth and so on and so on, okay? So that's basically where it stands. That's the current update. Again, it has not fully been passed. You're not getting a second check as it stands. You just have that one check that you have. Use it wisely, <laughs> spend it wisely, and and yeah, that's basically the update on that. And again, I apologize for my last video, confusion and debacle. And um, yeah, so that's basically all I have for you guys. And thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to hit that um, notification bell. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and check out my other latest video and on some work from home job opportunities that you can take advantage of right now. Uh, there's tons of companies that are currently looking for work from home agents all right so the work from home economy is booming so make sure to check out all the links posted below this video and i'll see you guys next time stay safe wear your mask and bye bye